Jeff, Zach, thanks for joining me. Hey, Steve, hey, how's Steve. it going? Hey, good to have you guys. In the news that we're covering is a little retail real estate, which is actually a sector that's doing quite well. Um, but of course, there likes to be some coverage over what's not doing well. And uh, traditional department stores um, are still having real, real challenges in the sector. Um, the sales bounced back somewhat in 21 and 22 after plunging at the start of the pandemic, but they've never even really recovered to 2019 levels. Um, sales are basically flat and we're just seeing um, retail going in different directions um, with more stuff located nearby for uh, people to online shop and pick it up directly with uh, brands just uh, opening up their small um, own small um, competing stores. Um, you know, some think something like coach or something like that rather than actually wanting to place in a department store. But your guys' thoughts on, uh, you know, the department stores and what maybe the challenges and opportunities are there as a uh, real estate class within retail? Well, I, uh, I, I think we've touched upon this a lot, but um, most of what we're seeing these days, everything has to be experiential. Department stores are tired. They're dated. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of different big boxes kind of combined together. So like Toys R Us kind of disappeared, but the brand stayed alive and now is in Macy's. Um, but the brands are, they're tired. Uh, when you walk in, you're, you got someone that doesn't want to be there working, who doesn't pay attention to you. Um, not even putting back the clothes that you know, or, or items that you don't even want that you can't even find in a store that looks stale. So I see the, uh, the, the suffering there. Same thing that we've talked about with office, with uh, housing, everything has to, has to change and become a lot more uh, user oriented or user focused. And, and it's all about that, that experience. Yeah, I, I mean, the only, only problem that, I mean, only point I'd probably add to it is you know, the reality of, of department stores is, is, is difficult. You know, you're, you're going there for something very specific. Whereas a lot of people are going to visit the um, discount retail stores because they're not looking for something specific, but they may be able to get a, a couple things or they are looking for something specific, but they don't find they find something closer. Um, you know, it, it's uh, you know, the cost um, you know, kind of drives where people are going to go. But I think you know, to to you know, agree with Zach and side of experiential, you know, if you look at the side of department stores are changing how they you know, instead of buying prop, uh, buying the goods. They'll have the you know the actual maker you know, rent space and you know then they'll actually try to sell their own stuff within the store. So it's you know I think there's a lot of dynamics, but in, work, in terms for where it's going, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm sure there'll be some sort of renaissance. I, I'll comment on that too. Is um, most department stores are in malls. Yeah. A lot of malls have uh, died. The ones that haven't have really focused on the experience and they're thriving. Um, but those department stores, when when they leave and those malls that are dying um, to change that experience, they're they're redeveloping them. I mean, millions of square feet are turning into mini cities. Yeah. And that that is actually revitalizing them. And that's probably where the real estate goes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I was actually uh, yeah, going to that's actually where I was going to go with this is I think from a real estate investor, you look at this mostly as opportunity. Um, it's space that needs to be repurposed. And that's an opportunity. And then also one of the reasons it needs to be repurposed is different kind of different types of retail real estate are doing really well. So there's opportunity in the repurposing. There's opportunity in what do you do with oftentimes some really prime real estate. And then there's opportunity in the stuff that's killing it in retail in terms of like often smaller footprints, often different locations. So so to me, I kind of look at this for, for anything to do well, something's probably going to have to not do well. And that's department stores in this case, but it's creating <laughs> a lot of opportunities elsewhere. So I, I actually look at this as kind of a positive. Yeah, I, you know, I, I actually I, I failed to forget, or I guess I forgot or failed to recognize, but your special use becomes kind of interesting for department stores as well. You've got very large footprints within uh, within a structure, um, and, and even a, a a mall near me um, has transitioned an old um, you know old failed Sears into a large indoor you know, playground with you know when I say playground, it's not really a playground. There's you know, there's multiple things that you can do there: video games, playground, etc. But it's a good place for people where you know. Parents may want to go do some shopping for school or other stuff, but it's a place for kids to hang out. And, you know, so I think it, it, you know, there is some other specialty uses that become interesting for it as well. 
Okay, well, hey, thanks for the insights, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you have not already. And visit our website, selectfincap.com, and register to get a look at exclusive commercial real estate opportunities. Who knows? Maybe we will redevelop some department sports store space some point in the future. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve.